Hey guys, it's Dr. Ramunda from PAC Pediatrics and we're about to see a patient who called this morning. Mom was concerned that her child was not using her arm and we might be suspecting a nursemaid elbow. So let's go uh, see what's going on. Presents. Hey guys, how are you? How are you? Hey cutie, Hi. what's going on? Did you hurt your arm? Did you hurt your arm? Yeah. Look at that. Aww. So I guess mom called earlier today and saying that our little bubby here wasn't using her arm. Um, could you tell us a little bit about what happened? Yeah, so um, my husband was in the kitchen and she seemed to have been on the couch. So tweaked it, we think. It's no pull. This isn't the first time. First time we took her to the emergency room, that wasn't a pull either. So, okay. But she's limp. We gave her some Tylenol and then her arm's been limp to her side for about mm. an hour now. Yeah, so nursemaid elbows um, are very common between kids two years old and three years old. And like mom was saying, usually it's from a pull from the arm. But, you know, once you have a nursemaid elbow, it's very common to get them over and over and over again. But usually, you know, the kid, is it this time? Yep. So usually the kid will not use their arm very much. Um, if you tell them to grab your finger, they won't. Well, she doesn't seem to like me very much <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, and then there's two techniques to reduce a nursemaid elbow. Um, both of them require you to hold the arm, the elbow right here, and kind of put the arm at 90 degrees. And the first method, you kind of pronate the arm, so you do faint, uh, palm down, and I just felt it click. Yay. So that's the one version. The other version, and that was it, I heard it click, it's, it's pretty much reduced. But the other version, do the same thing, but then you go, you put the, face, the palm face up, and you go up like that. And hold it. But I did hear it click. Um, so that should that should be good. Can you give me a little fist bump? Yay! <laughs> good job, baby. Did it feel better? A little better? Can you hold my fingers? Can you hold up here? Can you grab your binky? Uh, ah! Good job! <laughs> that was awesome! Hi everybody, it's Dr. Kyle from PAC Pediatrics, and you just saw a great example of a nursemaid's elbow presented by Dr. Ramunde here. And actually, nursemaid's elbow is a very common condition that happens um, to about 20,000 children a year. So it's something that we see commonly uh, here in the office. And as Dr. Ramunde described, it typically occurs with the pulling motion of the arm. And what happens is um, there's a ligament that connects your radius, which is the bone, that can, long bone in your forearm that connects to your thumb and your elbow, that becomes displaced uh, at way at the top where the elbow is. So the ligament becomes displaced. And then at that point, it's sort of like a dislocation, if you will, of the elbow, but not a true dislocation as we would normally think of them. And the child, as you saw in, that, in the video, holds their arm very close to their side and doesn't want to move it. So what Dr. Ramunde did was he actually put that uh, radial head, or the top part of the elbow, back in place. A nursemaid's elbow is easily diagnosed in the office, so children do not need uh, x-rays, typically, with a nursemaid's elbow. Um, chip by exam, we could sort of decide whether we think it is uh, a true nursemaid's elbow or something different. So it comes with the history of a child being pulled or lifted up or wrestled with because we know that pulling motions in children between one to four years old typically cause uh, a nursemaid's elbow. When children fall on extended arms or fall hard on something, we think more of fractures. We examine the forearm very well, as Dr. Ramunde showed, to make sure that there's no swelling or decrease in their range of motion of the arm. So in a nursemaid's elbow, we could always move the arm. Children are not holding it very stiff as if it was fractured. And in addition, there's no swelling or tenderness of the elbow joint in and of itself. 
If we notice any tenderness where the child is wincing in pain when we touch it somewhere or it's swollen, at that point we would probably get a x-ray to make sure that there was no break. But again, with the typical scenario of a child being pulled or being wrestled with um, and a normal exam of the elbow, we come to the diagnosis of a nursemaid's elbow and do the reduction here in the office, which is uh, safe and effective. After children have had their nursemaid el elbow re reduced, as you could see in that video, children respond typically within five to 10 minutes or even immediately with full range of motion in the arm and zero no pain. And this way we know it's successful. Nursemaid's elbow or one of the elbows are one of the most gratifying things that we see here in the office because we can offer as pediatricians immediate relief to children um, that are not moving their arm and holding it close to their body. So uh, it also children, uh, once they dislocate it once, um, the nursemaid's elbow could happen a second time. And uh, what we do is we counsel the parents to really watch our children and not pull, yank the arm and try to pick them up under the shoulders instead of picking them up this way by the wrists or the hands, which can uh, increase dislo uh, nursemaid elbow risk. If you have any concerns uh, with the nursemaid's elbow, it's best to come and be examined by a professional and not reduce it yourself because as we said a little bit earlier, we have to make sure that nothing else is really wrong uh, with the elbow. Hope that you enjoyed the video and learned something new today on Let's Talk About. And please uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because uh, you can learn so many new things that we will be uh, providing content-wise. Thank you.